You're always a pleasure to watch. Every day you become stronger. Every night you grow. But you deserve even more. His fingers flex against his thigh, coiled with tension, longing. Let me help you. Such an iron will. But you'll be ready soon enough. I'll give you a taste of what's to come. Your enemies will fall. The world will bow. You'll have everything you could ever desire. Just let me in. Go ahead, I'm listening. Just a bad dream. It was him. Casador. It's always him. He was reading poetry. How does that compare to your dream? Well, at least my vision was based in reality. Casador was actually a poet. He used to carve his verses into our flesh. He said he'd turn us into art. <laughs> he once spent all night with a razor, drafting and redrafting a sonnet on my back. Apparently, the more I screamed, the more mistakes he made, and the more editing was required. I... What? No. For your sake, I hope it's a tadpole messing with your mind. Ridiculous. I hear you had dreams too. Huh. The brain bugs got busy last night, and I've got a theory. When you call on the tadpole to influence others, we pay the price that very night. All of us. And? I suppose you want to stop using that power. Yes. The power to bend wills is a mind flayer speciality. We're the ones who are truly at risk. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The power to twist a mind to your will is worth some nightmares. You're leaving us weak because you're afraid of dreams. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to survive. And pity I'm the only one. <laughs> 